Hello and howdy, my name is Alyssa Nichol. Welcome back to segment three of Angular and Kendo Unite. So right now our buttons are looking pretty good. However, what if we wanted to customize them? Where would we even begin with something like that? Well, whenever we went and said ng add for our Kendo buttons at the very beginning in the first video, that inside of our package JSON actually added a Kendo default theme. But I want to show you um, inside of our docs, we have a styling overview that talks about multiple themes that we have to offer. One is the default theme that, as you saw, it just came with it. Um, we also have a bootstrap one and a material one. So today we are going to be giving the material one a spin. So there's an NPM install line here with dash dash save for the Kendo theme material. So we're gonna go ahead and open up with control back tick, our terminal, make it a bit bigger. And we're going to paste that NPM install line and run that. So it is installing the Kendo theme material. And so the next step is going to be opening up our angular.json. So I'll go ahead and close our terminal now and say, Oh, command P, yeah. <laughs> it's like control P, no, it's command P. Um, so we'll open up our angular.json and inside of our angular.json, anywhere that we're saying kendo theme default, I'm doing command D to select all of those instances. Uh, we're going to actually erase the word default and say material. So if we save that, open our terminal back up and run ng serve um, instead of the orange button, um, for the primary button that we had, uh, we should see a purple one for the material look. Um, so after that spins up, 92% chunk optimization, we can go over to our browser, go to localhost 4200, and see that our primary button is now material purple instead of the default Kendo theme orange. So we have an alternative theme working right now, looking pretty good. Um, I actually want to, before we continue on and do any more fancy smancy stuff, um, uncomment uh, the buttons in, the rest of the buttons in our control panel. And let's go ahead and minimize that right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste in some styles um, into our control panel um, CSS file. And they're just a couple of things to give some margin um, so that the spacing looks a little bit better. <laughs> so we can go back over and see that now. Um, so yeah, uh, we are in with our material theme, looking good. But I would like to talk about next is actually customizing the theme. So if you head on over to our docs, um, underneath where we talk about actually installing the Kendo material theme, um, you can see this preview, which shows all of the inputs and charts and buttons and what those look like in material. Um, but over here on the left, we also have a customization page. Ooh la la. So if we head on over to the customization page, you can see a list of SCSS or SASE variables. Um, so these variables um, are overridable, of course, like we can set them to whatever values we want. And um, in order to do this, we need to go ahead and start using SCSS in our Angular application. Super simple. Let's go ahead and jump on over and we can close this for now because we don't need it open. We're going to open our, with command P, um, Angular JSON file. And um, everywhere that you see style.css, we're going to go ahead and change that to styles.scss and we're gonna rename our styles file, bum, 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 rename, rename, uh, to, do, to have the same extension of scss. Um, now that we've just made that one single change, we should be able to use scss in our application. And in fact, if we go ahead and reopen the terminal, it should still, uh, it failed to compile because of course I did that in the wrong order. <laughs> rename your file first and then change the extensions. But anyways, now that I am restarting the server, we should see no changes. We should still see the material theme. Everything should still be looking schnazzy. Um, so let's go ahead and go on over. Everything's perfectly there and we have no errors. Um, we have compiled successfully, beautiful. So we're now using a CSS 
technically. We haven't actually written any SCSS. So the next part, um, which you can actually read about in our docs, uh, if we go back over to the overview for all styles and theming, um, if you scroll down a ways, you'll see customizing themes and it'll have the um, links to the variables for the default, the bootstrap and the material theme all right there, super handy. But then below, we also talk about um, using SCSS and Basically, here, we'll go ahead and we'll copy this chunk of code here. But basically, you can go inside of your styles folder um, or your styles file, excuse me. And you can do things like change the accent. Um, and that will go ahead and use the new color that you're setting on accent. And then we're importing this Kendo theme SCSS all. Um, instead of accent, let's do something else. Let's change the primary button color. So um, since we have our purple primary button, <laughs> say that three times fast, we should be able to now see pink instead of the purple for the material theme. So if we go on over, fail to compile. <laughs> have no fear. Uh, let's see, what did I do? Let's try respinning. What is it saying? Uh, file not come out unreadable theme. Oh, default. It's because I'm saying, um, I'm trying to, from the docs, include the Kendo theme default, and we don't have that anymore. We are now using the material. So it should be able to rebuild happily. And instead of the purple button, we should see the pink one uh, because we replaced the primary color uh, variable, primary SCSS variable. Compiled successfully and it is pink. Huzzah! Now, I want to head on back to our material theme and then the customize link because I want to look at the variables for a second. So if we scroll down, you'll see things like base text, primary, which we just changed. Um, and then you'll get to a buttons section. Let's go ahead and change some other variables, like for instance, this first one, button text. So if we go back over and change it, we're not gonna get fancy, we're just gonna do the same pink. I wanna show you what happens on hover. What do you mean by that, Alyssa? Well, um, once this actually reloads, so I'll wait patiently. Hmm. Okay, so as expected, the button text did change. However, I wanted to mention as a side note that these variables, as with any good variable, is used in multiple places. So it's not just used on the button text, it's also smartly used to create, uh, for instance, a background on hover. So if we go over these buttons and see, ooh, oh la la, they are using a, a slightly more opaque and potentially darker, no, I think it's the same um, hue, but anyways, uh, color of pink as the background hover. You can, of course, modify other things outside of the variable list. Uh, for instance, um, we have this nice pink text on our buttons over here, but and we really love the material look, right? We don't wanna change that, and we love the bare button look, um, but we need the pink text to match. Well, super simple fix, um, and something that you can do outside of even the CSS variable, SCSS variables that are provided for you. Um, you go ahead and call out uh, the K button, and K bear, and then give it a color. And this is very important. Make sure you use the button text variable because if you change that to green or you change it to whatever, um, you want that to change all across your app um, and match everywhere. So now if we go back, we see, voila, it is there. Um, it's not on a hover. So if we go, of course, super simple fix, same selector, but with hover. Ba, 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 ba. It's still not refreshed. <laughs> I'm like waiting. And there, as you can see, the background um, color also changed now on Hover as well. And it matches uh, the rest of the look. And so um, Kendo theming is super flexible like this. And we have lots of docs talking about it. Um, and it's one of honestly my favorite parts because I've worked with other CSS libraries um, that just, they weren't as flexible. Um, 
something to watch out for because we are a CSS library. Sometimes we do have to use the important tags. Um, it's always nice to use your inspector and I'll show that really very quickly and then show you exactly how I knew what selector to use. So if we inspect and we'll make our, this just massively, massively big, maybe a little bit smaller. <laughs> um, you can see down here, this is the color uh, that we've applied ourselves. But down here, um, this K button, K bear, this is where the library itself is adding these styles. And this is exactly how I knew what to write in order to overwrite it. So if you're ever wondering, how do I customize this? Open up your inspector, check out the exact selector that's being used and the exact styles that are being used. And this of course is only if the library itself doesn't provide a variable for that specific thing. Cause if there's a variable, um, you want to go ahead and modify that. One last thing I wanted to mention was if we go back over to our styles, as you see, uh, we are importing all. However, I don't know why I just copied that. <laughs> it's getting late in the day. Okay, as you can see, we import it all. However, we can go ahead and actually only import what we need from here. So we can say slash SCSS slash button, save it, go over, and we should see exactly the same thing that we've always been saying. Um, and so you only need to include uh, what you're using. That's kind of very obvious logic. Um, so <laughs> all of our components will be able to be included this way. Um, and I wanted to also mention that inside of our Angular file, we have all of these Kendo theme material inputs um, being included. However, we can go ahead and compress Command D and erase all of them save and when it refreshes everything should look exactly the same and that's because we're now using SCSS um, and we're using variables and we are importing the kendo material theme button into that styles.scss file so we shouldn't need to do anything which in fact we don't um, so yes that is all I have for you today on theming with style I hope to see you all in the next angular and kendo unite video have a wonderful day